in this problem, we have a 0.25 meter long wire. So our length is 2.5 meters. Moves straight up and down at a speed of 18.5 meters per second. And that's our velocity. It's very important that you make that a lowercase v. It is not voltage. It is velocity. And this is the only situation I can think of where we have similar symbols in an upper and lowercase letter. So just make sure you keep them straight. We know that the strength of the magnetic field is 0.45 teslas. And it's asking you for the EMF. Given the equation EMF, electromotive force, equals BLV, and that's lowercase v, very important that it's lowercase v. Our EMF is equal to 0.45 teslas times 0.25 meters times 18.5 meters per second. And if we round to two significant figures, we get that our EMF is 2.1. But what about units? We can't look at this and see, oh, Tesla's times meters times meters per second. That's, you, most of us won't know that. But we have to know what electromotive force is. It's not a force, as the name incorrectly points towards. So it's not going to be Newtons. Remember, remember that EMF was named before we really understood electricity, so it's kind of like conventional current. It's not correct, but because we've been using it for so long, we are going to continue to use it. EMF is a, just another way to talk about voltage. So it's 2.1 volts. In the second question, we're asked if the wire is used in a circuit with a total resistance of 6.0 ohms, what is the current? If we use Ohm's law, we know that resistance is voltage over current, so current is voltage over resistance. And you might say, well, I don't have voltage. But you do. Remember that EMF is just specifically voltage induced by a magnetic field. So it's just a specific name for voltage created in a specific way. We do 2.1 volts divided by 6 ohms. When we round to two significant figures, we will see that we have a current of 0.35 amps.